What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about the best $100 phones. You can use these unlocked, so let's go ahead and get started. Now my favorite phone on this list is going to be the Motorola Moto E5. So this is an excellent smartphone, one of my favorites. Uh, everything about this phone is great for the value at $93. So you have a 5.3 inch display, so it's a pretty decent size display, it's not too big, uh, 480 by 960. Uh, so it does have 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage. Now you do have an 8 megapixel camera and a 5 megapixel pixel camera and you also have a fingerprint scanner on the back uh, which is really nice for a uh, you know sub $100 phone so the build is plastic and the cameras aren't actually uh, they're not all that they take some decent photos and good lighting but it's solid hardware the software is really great it's pretty much stock Android so it's very fast and this is just one of the best phones that will last you a good while next is going to be the iPhone 5s coming in at $96 so this is an excellent smartphone this is going to have the best camera that you can get in a smartphone uh, so it does have a 1.3 gigahertz uh, Apple a7 processor uh, you do have an 8 megapixel and a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera uh, you do have a 4 inch display so very small if you have small hands and like small phones this will be great for you as well uh, do note this is not going to come with the latest version of iOS but you will be able to still run the App Store FaceTime and stuff like that uh, this does have a HD display at a 640 by 1130 so it has a pretty high pixel density for its screen size so the screen still looks nice uh, so this is just an awesome phone great hardware I think it's a steal you still have touch ID and stuff like that so it's very modern in security and this is just a great uh, little phone next is the Nokia 5 so this is I think the only phone on here with Android 9.0 so this one is unlocked as well dual sim uh, it does come with Android 9.0 16 gigabytes uh, you do have a 13 megapixel camera on here which is really awesome the only thing about this phone is the design is a little bit dated uh, but you do get the Snapdragon 432 gigabytes of RAM the screen is a 5.2 inch display and you can expand the storage with a micro SD uh, so you do have that 13 megapixel camera which takes some pretty decent photos an 8 megapixel camera on the front which is really nice uh, so what I love about this phone is the design you're getting a really solid design at this price point you don't see a lot of metal phones for a hundred dollars and also you get a fingerprint scanner as well so this is going to be one of the best built phones uh, for your money now if you're a Samsung fan for an unlocked phone, I really like the Samsung Galaxy J2. Uh, it's a very small phone, uh, so it does have uh, Android 8.0. You do have a uh, 8 megapixel rear camera along with a 5 megapixel front camera. A pretty uh, nice quad core 1.4 gigahertz processor along with 8 gigabytes of storage. So Samsung has really nice cameras in their phone as well. So if you're getting some good lighting, uh, this should take some really decent photos. Uh, so one of the things I like about this phone is you do have expandable storage as well. There is no fingerprint scanner on here, uh, which is definitely a bummer. So this does have a quad HD 5 inch display, 960 by 540. So pretty decent. Uh, overall, if you're a Samsung fan, you're going to like the uh, Samsung UI and everything Samsung has to offer with their phones. Uh, so this will be a great pick for you. So next is the Nokia One for 60 bucks. So this is a very bare minimum phone. Uh, like I said, it is unlocked. Uh, so you do have a 1.1 gigahertz quad core processor, one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of storage. Uh, so you won't be doing too much gaming or multitasking on this guy. You do have expandable storage uh, with the micro SD, a five megapixel camera and a two megapixel front facing camera. This does have a 4.5 inch display, so a pretty nice decent size. Uh, it does have a polycarbonate design, uh, which is really nice, so it should be prone uh, not to dropping and breaking so easily. You do have Android 8.1, uh, which is really nice. Uh, so overall, this is just a very bare minimum phone. Uh, it's very, very decent. It uh, comes with uh, Android Go, so it should be very, very snappy. And overall, you won't be doing too much, but just the basics. Uh, so thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.